Welcome to NASA's Mission Operations Control Room 2 as it would have looked during the 1969 Apollo 11 mission. The viewing room is included and can be seen through the glass. Props and papers are historically accurate and were sourced from real NASA archives. The National Historic Landmark in Houston, Texas was carefully studied and reproduced here in 3D. Even the text on the buttons are accurate and finger smudges can be seen on buttons and surfaces. Exactly as they had in 1969 in the MOCR2 room, here's a Swingline 747 stapler and the text on the buttons is not only accurate, but also included our text layers in Photoshop PSD files. This project was modeled with Maya, and special attention was taken to ensure low poly count for real-time usage. Figure 3-3 might just be one of my favorites. Looking up here at the analog timers, these are animated with spinning cylinders just as the original units would have functioned so the changing of the numbers looks correct. Down here desk drawers open up and can be animated or used to hide objects in video games and the full units slide out just as they do in the MOCR room. Blueprints of the MOCR2 room were referenced and the 3D models of the room and the desks are physically accurate down to the centimeter. Modeled in Maya, textured in Substance Painter, and rendered here in Unity, the original source files are included Maya binaries, Photoshop PSDs, materials, textures, scripts, and everything. This project was made by Ryan Zim and can be found on TurboSquid and the Unity Asset Store.